Baby girls, how are you doing? Let's do another pick a card. And today is going to be what they're saying about you to their mate. Whoa, that could be interesting. We've done that one before. So let's go. Let's see. Let's uh, check it out. And let's develop as well. Okay, so one, two, one, two. So part number one, what is it saying about you to the mate? A three of uh, pentacle, wheel of fortune. Four ones, holy schmoly, right? So they probably say that you are frustrating them. <laughs> Well, well, well. Yeah, but I think you're frustrating, uh, they're frustrating you as well. I'm <laughs> not being funny. Because let's not forget, this one is huge, is Twin Flame. And um, yeah, you're mirroring each other. There's no other way to say it. And you are very much twinning. Uh, so they probably really frustrate you as well because you two are you learning from each other. You are triggering each other like crazy. So obviously, it can be that... Um, you are being, you know, kind of uh, uh, pushed to your limit at times, but it works both ways, okay? Both sides are suffering in some ways, but at the same time, you know it for the best. You know that you guys, you meant to be together. You meant to learn those lessons. You meant to be challenged, but, you know, it's not always easy peasy, right? <laughs> Make me smile because it's always very eventful. When you have a twin flame story, my goodness, I could tell you stories insane you wouldn't see that in movies you wouldn't it's crazy so what we have here on top of that is obviously that the situation need to um take off uh, i mean it's a <laughs> it's good luck meaning uh, of course uh, preparation meeting opportunity so you both uh feeling there is something spilling up that's why they say to the mate i think we're gonna have to meet up again i think we're gonna have to sort that out and we need to make it work obviously you're meant to be working it out uh, that is a process again as i always say <laughs> but it's true it's all about the process and that's how you learn okay there's not so much about the the point you know you're gonna end up together you already know the ending but the you know the journey on it is brilliant yes what they say about you that you are full-on very impulsive that maybe you're reacting straight away but also that they want to move towards you they don't really know how to do it they feel a bit gauche but the passion is here big time okay mm. and there's possibly there was a um, third party when there's a soulmate a soulmate was in a <laughs> twin flame there's often one of the two and sometimes both of the two people are with someone else as well that make it even more complicated because they are still with a toxic uh and um, you know companion um so it always make it a little bit mm, fascinating but also what they say about uh, you to their mate is that you are really sometimes say things are really hurtful of course but the thing is they do the same to you i mean it's not to defend <laughs> one side or the other because you really are on the same kind of a vibe it's interesting it's not going to be an easy journey okay so that's what they say to their friend um to their mate you are a pain in the neck at times but you also are the most amazing revelation they ever had so yes and you probably say the same thing and it's complicated maybe there's other people involved and blah 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 i mean we know the deal but they know you end up together. That's it. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, because it's going to be a fight, a continuous fight. Sometimes it's going to get better. The most of the time is you triggering each other. So you might ask, why would I go with someone like that? Because it's something you need. When you meet uh, each other, you just recognize each other. You've been on many lifetimes together. You can't just let it go. You can't. And you know that they annoy you sometimes or you don't want to get close to them because it's just too intense or, oh my God, but you know you're going to learn through this process. Big time. What do we have here? Crystalline. Energy, wonder, alive, beauty. Well, yes, this connection will make you feel so alive. You will feel like, oh my God, I'm just, something is opening up in me. My heart chakra, whatever, I'm just right there. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, this that is absolutely beautiful from my friend Dominique. Gorgeous gift. Um, you know, it's, it's crystalline when you meet. You know, you just recognize each other. That's, that's crystal clear. Boom. You are my twin. You're a pain in the neck. But my God, I can't be with someone else. That's why any other people, toxic people, whatever, 
you can't do this. It's just no, you, it's not nothing to compare, nothing to compare to your twin. So this is what happened. Okay, so part number two, <laughs> what are they saying about you to the mate? Ten of cups, uh, eight of cups, just this. Well, 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 a lot of cups are over. Up. <laughs> Everywhere. That's all I was going to say. What they say about uh, you to them, mate, that you are the happy ever after. It's romantic love. Uh, this is a person I want to have children with. This is my person. It's a future, uh, you know, uh, beautiful, pink, gorgeous. Okay, this is magical. Um, but in the meantime, <laughs> some things need to be done. We need to get rid of some uh, toxicity. Uh, maybe there's a lot of work to do at uh, the individual level. Uh, to clear, you know, the inner child issues, the child, um, inner child complication, whatever, and all the rest of it, all the different uh, relationships you may have had, not saying that you had a million relationships, but it's time to empty all of that. It's time to let go. And maybe they think that you're still attached to somebody. Maybe you're still married. Maybe you're still with... Uh, uh, some energy lingering around you and uh, obviously here we have that introspection that is needed but both sides you're learning okay because before you get to that level and let's not fool ourselves happy ever after love i don't know who thought that love was simple it is not mm, no uh, so a lot of people dream that oh yeah but it should be like that no it's not should be or have to or must we don't do those things no you, you create your your connection, you reveal each other to yourself, but you have to take responsibility for yourself too, right? Hmm. And talking about responsibility, justice, yeah. Maybe someone needs to divorce someone else or separate from someone else before being with you or vice versa with your person. And it has to be fair. Maybe there's some understanding that you have to um grow as a person you have to take responsibility you have to learn about yourself before you can do anything else or go towards each other there is a process i know but there is a step here that is inevitable if you don't do the introspection if you don't do the okay i take responsibility for my action i take responsibility for uh you know my past and understanding my past and my childhood and the rest of it well, if you don't do that work, is you're never going to find this balance and you're never going to be on the happy ever after. But don't assume that, oh, that's it, we love everything, is wonderful. No. No. I don't know who said that. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, karmic. There is some karmic energy that is still lingering, so maybe they need to divorce or you need to divorce. They say that there is a, some attachment, maybe a very, uh, you know, they're very stuck together. They're very, uh, it's just blocked it's blocked energy and that's why that blocked energy has to be left behind left behind <laughs> yeah it's a choice are we going to stay the same oh poor me oh i'm never happy blah, blah, blah. or am i taking responsibility do i stay in a relationship i'm bored with or do i do something that is actually challenging but new different am i going to repeat the same pattern because it's repeating the same pattern is to be with the toxic partners do we want to do that or do we want to really true happy 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 all right so that the thing they might discuss that with a mate like oh my god you know i need to clear my situation before i can move uh, on or move towards you and you the same maybe you are with someone still or you haven't sought yourself out yet i wonder if you're happy without me yeah because there is a need to somehow maybe have a pose Maybe you leave each other behind for a moment in order to actually sort yourself out and do the right thing. Yeah, but of course you think about each other. Of course you linked. There's no even a doubt. Linked. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So let's have a look. What do we have here? Harmony. Mm. Balance, energy, breath, flow. Bingo. Did we talk about balance? Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's a journey. Again, I'm going to say the same thing, but it is. Most of things are a journey anyway, but it's about finding the harmony with the, with each other because at the end of the day, what you have here, that's pure harmony. That is absolute bliss, but bliss. But you have to work for this, okay? You cannot just like, oh yeah, it's going to be perfect. No, you, you enjoy 
the process, you enjoy the journey. That is probably the sentence of the day. <laughs> On this note, I will be the first day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.